Now we're going to talk about common problems with a catheter. So here's the catheter. It's going through the penis into the bladder. Okay, so you see this. Okay. If you suddenly see urine, water, squirt around the catheter, what does that mean? So it's two possibilities. One, it's a bladder spasm. And most people say they have a bladder spasm while moving their bowels. They're constipated, they strain, and they squirt urine around the catheter. That is normal. There's nothing wrong with the catheter. So a little bit of the squirt around the catheter with moving your bowels or constipation is to be considered normal. You don't have to get uh, worried about that. The next thing is, let's say the catheter is draining, and then you suddenly feel pain in the pubic bone, sudden pain in the penis, sudden pain in the scrotum. That is a bladder spasm. That's irritation, irritation, let me show you, from the balloon. So you see you have this balloon. This can rub your bladder and, and annoy it. The way to calm down the, the bladder is to take medicine like ditropan, oxybutynin, mebetric, Vesicare, any of those medicines will calm the bladder to go down and take that sensation to pee away. Let's say nothing is draining for hours and you have a horrible sensation to pee. You feel like you got to go, but no urine is coming out. Maybe the catheter is clogged. So what can you do? One, I would take a bath. Hot water, you know, warm water bath. Get in the tub. And the warm water will help if there's a little clog of, of mucus or blood, it will help release the, the plug. If not, I would get something called an irrigation tray. So what it is, is it's got a little, a little cup and a syringe. You take your basin, you know, nice to use sterile water. Then you take your syringe, put it in the water and you pull the plunger back till you get your water. You, you have the disconnected end of the catheter. You take this and you push and see if the water goes in the bladder. You see, that went easily. If you flush it, that means it's open, okay? If you flush it and urine just squirts out around the penis, or you're, it, it won't go, it's blocked, it's obstructed, and you need a new catheter. And unfortunately, you'll have to go to the hospital or someone will need to change a catheter. Last problem, what do you do if you have bloody urine? You see red urine. So brown urine means old urine. Red urine means fresh blood. First thing I do, take it easy. Sit down in a nice chair, comfortable chair, like, like this one or an easy chair or something like that and guzzle six, eight glasses of water, tea, coffee, anything to flush the bladder. The other thing you could do is you could irrigate it, especially if your catheter is not draining, take your syringe and flush the bladder uh, to, to see if there are any, uh, uh, to try and clear it uh, so it drains better. As long as you're not making clots, in other words, balls of blood that's clotting off the catheter, it's not an emergency. If you see clots, big worms of, of, of blood or, or blood that's clotting off the catheter, then you may need to come to the hospital because that's much more of an emergency.